Hey everybody, this is Josh, just popping in here at the beginning of the episode to let you know that we now have a Patreon. That's right, patreon.com slash yet. There you'll find a bunch of cool tiers that you can subscribe and help support the show with. Uh, some of the benefits include a shout out in every episode for your social media, small business, online store, whatever. Uh, we also have um, opportunities to join our Discord fan server and chat with the cast. Uh, We also have um, access to uh, full unedited um, sessions, so you can hear everything that we do over the course of the three to four hours that we record. Um, It's a lot of fun, so be sure to check that out. That's patreon.com slash are we dead yet? All right, let's get to the show. Sinister Secrets and Dark Truths mystical creatures and magical powers, dark dungeons and enlightened paths, all lead us to ask that one question as time marches onward. Are we dead yet? The statue uh, just falls over, shatters on the ground, and you come spilling out. Uh, you are prone, but um, okay. yeah, the scene around you is kind of chaotic at this moment. Perfect. Um, how much of my movement would have been taken up getting out of that? Uh, I'd say probably like 10 feet. Cool. So that means I still have half to get up from being prone. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I'm going to leap to my feet. I'm going to look around, and I'm just going to shout, all righty then, which one of you are the bad guys? <laughs> uh, the seer points at the people attacking him. <laughs> uh, Chester points, points at the seer. At the seer. <laughs> we're we're just gonna like look at the the hulking muscle beast <laughs> that's attacking us and and be like, hmm, thinking emoji. Uh, the 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 seer says, "Oh, you." We have a little treat inside one of our statues. This is so wonderful. Oh my goodness. Have you come? Have you come to join? Let me just take care of these troublemakers a minute and I'll uh, I'll be happy to I- initiate you into our order. All right. I guess that answers that question then. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Can I have a, what is the saving throw I need? None. It's an attack. All right. So I'm going to cast 10, 16, uh, 19 to hit. Uh, which one? Uh, the uh, uh, seer. Is that what he is? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. That hits. Perfect. One, one two, eight, nine. Uh, he takes uh, 15 lightning damage. Uh, okay. Um, so that was an attack, you said? Uh, that was a spell attack, yes. Yes, okay. So as you uh, shoot this spell uh, towards him, uh, you see him actually uh, mist out and teleport away. And one of those little creatures that spilled out of the statues uh, next to you um, is actually put in his place where he was standing. And that creature is the one that takes the damage. How much was it again? 15. Okay, and you see him get, you see this little lipless spider like creature get uh, obliterated by your lightning. The uh, uh, where did he move to? The seer starts and actually, to which statue did I come out of? Um, so on the map, uh, you came out of the uh, third one from the door. The statue that got broken was the fourth one. The one closest to the okay. throne, uh, on the the side of the wall with the door on it. Where did he teleport to? Right next to me. 
So he, yeah, so he would have teleported right next to where that, that statue next to you would have been. So about 10 feet off. Perfect. Um, fuck it. I'm going to action surge and I'm just going to attack him with my hammer. Uh, okay. Uh, for two attacks, I've got a 7, 14 to hit and a 22 to hit. Uh, the 22 hits. Perfect. Uh, 11 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, he takes it. And that's my turn. Uh, awesome. Next up is one of these uh, little spindly creatures. Um, they're going to look at this newcomer, and uh, they are going to uh, take a little uh, chomp at you, um, Mr. Uh, Mister Artie. Try it. Uh, 19 to hit. Oh, that meets. Okay. Um, I'll call high. 41. Damn. Okay. Uh, he misses then. Um, Perfect. <clears throat> oh, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, is it against magic? Yes. Perfect. Uh-huh. I get it down on those rolls. That is an 18. Okay. You save. You're fine. Um, next up, looks like it is <clears throat> your your crew here. Uh, so you come spilling out of this statue. Uh, your 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 crew hears this happen, um, and from across the room, you see your two other uh, buddies come spilling out of these statues as they hit the ground, um, ready for ready for combat, ready to to throw shit down. Yeah, buddy. You see Vigo. Uh, he's gonna cast Eldritch Blast. Because why not? <laughs> That's what it's there for. Okay, two beams hit. Where the hell did my 10 go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, he does uh, 18 damage to this uh, to this Hulk guy. Um just blasts him right in his stupid face. And uh, you see Silris uh, come spilling out and then go invisible. Um, and that's it for their turn. Okay. And then one more of those little spindly creatures is going to uh, crawl up towards you, uh, Chester. And he's going to make an attack. Oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, how's a 21? Um, that, that hits. Okay, and then I'll also need a wisdom saving throw. I, you want Chester to give you wisdom? Yes, please. Oh, boy. You could ask for dexterity. That'd be better. <laughs> Oh, nat 20. Okay. I'm not so mad about that. <laughs> nice. Give us that alley cat wisdom. Uh, well, then you save, so you're good there, and you take uh, six damage. Six damage? Holy shit. And uh, Chester hisses in anger at this little motherfucker. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, next in the order, Vora, you're up. Wonderful. Vora is going to cast Polymorph on himself and uh, get one action. Actually, first he's going to cast Firebolt at uh, at the Seer. Let's do that real quick. Okay. Damn it. How's was a 13 to hit the Seer? No. No? Okay. Then he's going to use two of his sorcery points to cast Polymorph as a bonus action and okay. turn into a giant ape. Ooh, fun. <laughs> Show Let me, roll down. Up my health. Let me th- roll up this health here. So small boy turns into a huge boy. Huge boy. 
15 by 15. Ooh. Jesus. Okay. Yeah. You. <laughs> um. Let's see. Was anyone still next to you? Uh. I feel like everyone moved, so you should be fine. Okay. Okay. Do you take a few steps away from the door, or do you stand right next to the door? Uh, I take a few steps into the room. Okay. Cool. Just trying to figure out if any of this transforming is going to stretch any of these walls, or you know. Yeah. Break anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was debating between Great Ape and T-Rex. Oh, no, you should have done T-Rex. That'd be so fun. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, T-Rex, it's it'd be hard to <clears throat> maneuver inside of the room. That's very Is there true. no CR <laughs> restriction? Uh, it's your level. And a so giant great, ape is seven. Giant so. ape is seven. Damn. We're eight. Do it. Um, take him down, Sherman. Take him down. Oh, I shouldn't have used my attack caption. Oh, well. Um, we pick up one of the benches, use it as a club. It does have a rock, a ranged attack for rock. Or you can do a Hulk a style. Just grab them. I mean, maybe you can't grab them, but just start just... I can grapple. Smash back Hulk and forth. Hulk versus Loki style. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. perfect. <laughs> hey, you, you just got a lot less squishy. I just got a hell of a lot less squishy. Uh, and then that'll be my turn. Uh, Okie dokie. Uh, it, you are up. This is for the seer. Oh... Does 14 hit? It does not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> One more. Ooh. Does 18 hit? Just barely. Yeah! Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take it. And you have Hunter's Mark on him, so that's extra damage, plus your Colossus Slayer. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to hurt. I mean, it ain't going to hurt that much. <laughs> slap him. Yeah, it's gonna be like a little. It's gonna be a little bitch We're slap. Gonna slap this boy. All right. Ah. Okay. So the six. Oh, that's sad. Six damage for that. Eight damage for that. And then four damage for that. Okay. So eighteen total. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. It was, it was a nice little bitch slap. It was a little boop. <clears throat> okay. And I'm done. Oh, already. Uh, Eberus, you are up. Already. Um, I'm gonna do more of the same. <laughs> I'm gonna have my hammer come up behind. Uh, uh what's his freaking name? Channeler boy, summoner boy, whatever it is. The, the seer. The seer. Well, he didn't see this one. And it's going to whack him over the back of the head. It was my roll. <laughs> For a nat one. Oh, man. So the, <laughs> the spiritual weapon misses by a good bit. Um, roll your percentile. God, I don't even. He hit. He can hit his foot instead. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, twenty-three. Twenty-three percent. I'd just say that the spell dispels itself on that one. Yeah, That'd at twenty-three. At, at twenty-three percent, that seems that seems fair. If it were a higher percentage, I might do some weird magic surge shit to you, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll say yeah. Um, there's just uh, yeah. You, you command your spiritual weapon to uh, strike this dude. Um, it comes down and then it just disappears before it can even make contact, and it just dissipates back into the the weave of magic. So it is gone. And uh, I'm gonna use my action also. Just for just for fun, since I'm using my actions on the storm, uh, I'm going like uh, storm from the X Men, 
vibes <laughs> full on. I'm like levitating, channeling lightning through my body. Like my eyes are shining blue, like Thor style. <laughs> Fuck yeah. yeah. As I blast him with another bolt of. Uh, okay, you're so you're hitting the seer. Yes. Theodore is within five feet of him because he was in uh, combat, hand to hand combat with or Artie. Sorry, David's character originally I think was named Theodore, but yeah. Uh, so this new gnome oh. that came spilling out is standing next to him. So um, I will need him Can to I, make it. Well, a... I didn't know he was there. Oh, so yeah, it's, sorry. Yeah, yeah my bad. Thread. I forgot about that. So can I like hit behind him and and just like singe the back of uh, what's hit his the... name's like because it's a five foot area around the around bolt. the point. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, so just the Gru and the Seer. Uh, Fourteen and thirteen. Uh, those fail. Damn. I'm going to use the dice roller here because it's a lot of dice. Okay, 24. Oh, Oh, you roll it separate for each one? No, that was weird. Huh. I rolled the first one and then it didn't respond right away, so I typed it again, but I guess it did. We'll, We'll take that first one. Okay. Uh, so you see the first, you see the little Gru creature on the, on the floor, um, just get zapped and and shish kebabbed, um, and then the spell hits, uh, uh, hits the seer and uh, gets him pretty good. They aren't looking Toasty. too hot. I was gonna yeah. say, how's the seer looking? Uh, he's looking pretty beat up. Uh, you guys did a lot more damage than I thought you would in such a short amount of time. Is he looking like a? toasted marshmallow uh yes uh chester you are up you've got the little uh grew creature in front of you all right well i am going to attack this little grew creature okie dokie that seems like the best uh course of action here how is a 13 to hit Uh, yep, that hits. Oh, nice. Okay. For eight damage. Uh, yeah, you uh, you poking him with your little rapier there. Oh yeah, Swiss okay. cheese. Uh, yeah, you uh, you poke him good, but he's still standing. Uh, he doesn't really like that. He kind of snarls at you. All right, I'm going to now use my bonus action to disengage and uh, move to an area of this room that isn't populated by things trying to kill me. Uh, yeah, so that probably the best place would probably be that bottom corner somewhere, yeah, bottom left that sounds corner. Good. Sounds good to me. And uh, okay. that's gonna be that's gonna be Chester's turn. I don't have any uh, other cool things I can do. Uh, sure. Oh, um, real quick, is Phantasmal Force a concentration spell or just? Oh uh, shit! Let me check that for you real quick. It is concentration, so I need to give you a constitution saving throw. Yes, You please. dealt uh, six damage to me, so yes. I'm going to save for ten. And I got nine, so uh, he's no longer affected by the bees. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they, they disappear, and, and he uh, he kind of looks around a little bit like, uh, uh rah, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah. Very confused, but he's ready to ready to go again. So let's see. So next up is the seer, um, and Theodore, you were standing in combat range with him, right? The yeah, yeah. So you see him uh, kind of phase Who's out. Theodore, sorry, Artie. God damn it! I got so used to you. Uh, I looked at. I, look, I was looking at D and D Beyond, and originally it was. Theodore, yeah, I hadn't so. changed it yet. Yeah, no worries. Okay, I realized Arturus. I used that name before, and I I don't want to reuse it. Oh, okay. So yeah, so Arturus, uh, Artie, um, yeah, so uh, he's in front of you, and you see him kind of phase out, and then you feel this force almost move through you, um, and suddenly you look behind you, and the seer is about <clears throat> 20 feet away, um, and you are going to take some psychic damage. 
Okay, then. Uh, you take four psychic damage. <clears throat> um, and then uh, he is going to take the ready action. What'd you say, Josh? You cut out. Oh, sorry. Um, next up, the the seer. The next action the seer is going to do is he's going to take a ready action um, to act when the Hulk moves. <clears throat> and um, the Hulk is kind of in the middle of this room. He uh, the phantasm fades away from him. He's no longer being affected by bees. Uh, Eberus, he's going to move straight up on you, and he's going to make some mean old attacks on you. Um, Bring it on. Big boy. <laughs> uh, Don't yeah. worry, Empress Kong's coming to help you. Um, how is a 25 and a 19 versus your AC? 19 meets. Okay. Um, so I'll call high. Hold on real quick here, though. Sure. <laughs> um, so I'm going to Wrath of the Storm when he hits me. Okay. Uh, I can push him away with thunder damage. I believe uh, it's at least 10 feet. So after the first attack, I'm going to push him the hell away from me. So if that is the second one's a melee, he's going to be a no-go on that. Yeah, so the, the slam attack does have a 10-foot reach. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Um, but, yeah, okay, so I'll roll damage on this real quick. Um, and then... Sorry. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, so, so he makes the attacks... Uh, you're going to take 2d8 damage on this first one. And then I'll also need you to make a constitution saving throw. Ready? It is a 21. Okay. Uh, you save from that, so that's good. Uh, you take... Da, 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 da. You take 11 bludgeoning damage and 5 psychic damage. And then what save does he need to make for Wrath of the Storm? Uh, Dex. 13. Nope. He takes 11 damage. Okay. And gets pushed hella far away. I'm trying to figure out uh, whether it's 10 or 20 feet. I think I have a bonus. Just 10 feet. Okay. So you just pushed 10 feet. So you only got hit with one of those attacks. Um, and you're not stunned, thankfully. Um, Hell yeah. He took 11 damage as well. Yep. Excellent. And then, and then yeah, you recorded the, the damage that you took as well? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I, I also took 11. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, plus the 7 psychic damage. Oh, yes. Did yes. not record okay. that. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, so, uh, that movement by the Hulk does trigger the, uh, seer's, um, ready to action. And you see the seer, uh, lift up his, uh, staff and shoot a, uh, shoot two of those orbs that he used on you guys in the caverns, uh, shoots them at the Hulk. It sounds like phase two. I hear the... Final Fantasy battle music in my head. <laughs> the camera this isn't even shifts. my final form. Uh, I mean, the music speeds up. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not it's not great. Uh, this is one of the cool things that the, <laughs> that the Star Spawn can do. So, okay, forty nine. Oh. oh boy! So he hits the Hulk with forty nine points of psychic damage. And the psychic mirror ability that the Hulk has uh, reflects that damage back in, back towards anything within 20 feet of the Hulk. You take 49 psychic damage, Chris. Oh. Does anybody else? 
Uh, is anyone else near him? I think uh, isn't, Chester ran into the corner. Isn't the wizard himself close enough? Uh, he's immune to psychic damage. Oh. That helps. What a bitch. Well, if only. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> but would it still split to him? Or would everyone? <laughs> <laughs> so... <clears throat> So it, it 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 doesn't split the damage amongst the creatures that are within the range. It's each creature in range takes the damage instead. Oh my instead. god! God damn! Boom! All right. Uh, well, I'm on the ground. Are you uh -oh. out? Uh, I'm, I'm saving. Oh shit! Wait, I got you, bro. I'll help you next turn. I don't At know. Forty nine damage. Yeah. I can't Plus help you. The, uh, uh, I assume my big, my big AP ass probably takes that too. Uh, Eberus was more towards the middle of the room, so oh, okay. I don't recall anyone else moving up towards uh, towards that. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. If I was full health, it would it would have been no problem. But I'd been brought down to thirty nine over the course of the fight so far. Uh yeah. Um, well, I'm coming in to beat this Hulk's ass for you, so... Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, you see Eberus fall uh, here in this room. Uh, his hammer falls to the ground. He gets knocked to the ground, and uh, the storm above you in this room dissipates and fades away as he no longer can concentrate uh, on this spell. And next in the order is Artie. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, how far is the seer from me? Uh, he is. Let's see, he phased through you, and I said he was about ten feet. So, ten feet from me. Is there anybody in between me and him? Nope. Just a bunch of broken cool. ass statues. Uh, is anybody else near him? Besides, uh, not near or is him. It just no. the Hulk. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm going to hit myself with Blur, and I'm going to run up on him and hit him with some hammer attacks again. Okay, dokie. Um, four, seven, 21 to hit, and 16 to hit. Wait, Blur is a action? It's a bonus action. Oh. Oh, okay. That's weird. Blur is pretty nice. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Um, so, okay. One more time with those hits. A 16 and a 21. The 21 hits. Perfect. Uh, 11 damage. Okay. Solid hit. Yeah. Uh, he's not looking good. Good. Uh, that's my whole turn. Okay. Next up is uh, Silris, one of your allies. And he sees this dwarf fall down, and he's going to go over and try and... Uh, try and help him out. He's gonna cast a uh, a fourth level cure wounds. Nice. Oh, my nice. boy. Well, my I, guess I, don't boy. Need, I guess I don't need to help out then because I was gonna go over there. <laughs> uh, oh, that's supposed to have a plus four. So you uh, bounce back up, Chris, with uh, 19 uh, health. Excellent. And then... Uh, Vigo's going to blast the last remaining Gru that's in this room with Eldritch Blast. Okay, another two of them hit, and it kills it. So that thing is out of the out of the mix. Yay. Yeah, you see it kind of just shrivel up and die. Next in the order, back to the top, is Vora, Mr. Big Ape Man. All righty, Vora's going to big ape his way over to uh, the Hulk and start laying down some anger. Throw some hands. Well, throw some hands. He's got a multi-attack of two fists. Sure, go for it. 22 to hit. Okay. And 25 to hit. Yeah, I mean, both of those do it, so go for it. All righty, so first round. So first hit attack hits for 20. Okay. Oh, uh, 26, sorry. All right. And the second for another 20 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Giant ape. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, he's not looking great, but, uh, you know, could be worse. He's still standing. Full Kong, full Kong, just one one punch and then the double fist down. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so he's still up, but not looking great. Uh, next up is it. Hell yeah, it's me. All right, so this is going to be for the, you know, the huge. Sure. Against the seer. Yeah, that stupid seer whatever thingy. It's going to melt him down. Uh, 18 to hit. Yes. Yeah. Suck my dick, bitch. Okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't hear that. That's so going <clears throat> into the episode. <laughs> that's staying in. <laughs> All right. That's <clears throat> eight. So eight damage for the first thingy. Oh, one damage for the other thingy. And two damage for the other thingy. So 11 damage. All right. But guess what? I gotta go again. Mm-hmm. Ooh, okay. I'm going to use my sharpshooter feet because I got a 23. Okay, it drops down to 18, which hits. Okay, cool. Yep. <clears throat> I'm going to demolish this boob. Um, hey, Zo, I actually forgot to ask. Is the weapon you're using, um, is it a plus one? No, I don't think okay. so. It's just it's just a regular regular bow? Yeah. Oh, just, okay. Cool. Just a long bow. Okay. I just need to do some stuff real quick. Oh, no. Do nope, what? You're fine. Oh, no. Do what? Well, everyone else was hitting him with magic, so it didn't matter, but... Uh, your attacks were only are only doing half because they're not magical. Oh, okay. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um, there we go. Did, did you not start off with a plus one weapon, Zoe? I think she went armor. I think so. I don't know. John, what'd you do? <laughs> what did I do to what? Sorry. <laughs> I don't have a plus one weapon, right? Yeah, it's your armor that's plus one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So it's been half damage the whole time? Yeah. Ah! F- J- just from you, though, because... Yeah. Oh, that's sad. All right, the damage is 22, 4, and 5. Okay, 31. Not bad. But then you slash it in half, and that's what makes me sad. Yeah, it's a little sad, but it's okay. You're, you guys are still doing great. <laughs> Mostly. Mostly. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, uh, Eberus, you are up. And I am up. I ain't dead no more. Ain't dead no mo. Thanks to our guys. Who was it that healed me? Um, the, uh... The bard, Silrus. Silrus. You gonna pledge the life debt to him too? And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh. if I wasn't if I wasn't already in a life debt, <laughs> to some, sorry, but I'm taken. <laughs> uh, how close am I to this guy? Uh, to the Hulk. Are they both still, like, somewhat next to each other? Uh, so the seer's about 20 feet off, kind of hugging the wall of the room uh, next to where the statues are, are kind of busted up. Uh, the Hulk got pushed 10 feet away from you, but was otherwise in the middle of the room ready to do battle. So. And now has a... And now has a giant ape standing in front of him. <laughs> so I want to say there's a giant ape between you and him. Yeah, almost like standing, like, yeah, like a... A hulking colossus in front of you. Nice. I'm about that. For the purposes uh, of flavor, my giant ape is scaly. <laughs> instead nice. of furry. It's like a snake <laughs> ape. A nice. snake ape. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do here. Uh, how is it my, my team look? How are my guys on health? Good. I think Chester's the only one that's actually taken damage. 
Yeah, and I haven't taken enough damage to warrant any sort of action. All right, well, I'm going to back as far the hell away as I can from the the Hulk. Yeah, I mean, you got plenty of cover because the, the ape is kind of... Yeah, up the, the I don't think fight. the ape would stop another psychic AoE burst, though. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. But <laughs> Exactly. So I'm staying the hell away from that guy. Uh, and then I'm going to... Exactly. I'm just going to go for it and cast another call lightning. Level three this time. Sure. And I'm going to blast the wizard. Blast the wizard. Dex saving throw, please, sir. Blast the wizard, Harry. Uh, how's a 17? Uh, that me- or that beats. So that means the damage is... 11 damage okay uh, he definitely doesn't like that though uh, he's he is looking like he is on death's door <laughs> excellent just like continuous thunderbolts it's like why won't you die uh, I don't think I can actually do anything else at the so I'm going to cower behind my shield yeah Sometimes cowering isn't acceptable. I mean, Ebers got humble Choice. right there. He just got, like, psychically bitch slapped. <laughs> yeah, you know what Again. I've noticed? E- Ebers does not like uh, psychic attacks of any kind. Yeah, I mean, he's spent his entire life being resistant to any and all physical attacks. He's, f- he's met the one weakness. <laughs> it's super effective. Totally. Uh, Chester, you are up. You are currently towards the bottom left corner of the room. All right. Uh, you retreated after. Yes, and Chester has a new plan. Uh, Chester is going to cast Invisibility as his action. Ah, nice. I mean, what kind of rogue doesn't take Invisibility? Um, and then I'd like to sneak up on the Seer. Uh, how much movement do you have? I have 25 feet. I'll settle for getting close if I need yeah, to. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, we'll say you get towards um, towards about the middle of the uh, third uh, bench. Okay. Uh, so you're currently behind that bench there. Okay. And uh, using my bonus action to hide, I roll a... Uh, unless I get advantage for being invisible... I would um, definitely say that would be the case. Cool. I, I don't know how he's going to see you while you're invisible anyway, but right. you never know. Uh, 17 to hide. Nice. And that is that is Chester's turn. Okay. Um, next in the order is the seer. Um, <clears throat> and... Uh, hmm... Let me see what he wants to do. Yeah. Um, so he's going to start moving towards um, towards the giant ape. And then once again, that same trick he pulled on uh, Artie earlier, uh, where he sort of phased out and then phased through him, he's going to do that to the ape as well. Um, so uh, Sherman, you take... So something else to the ape uh you're just taking three psychic damage as this guy kind of phases in and out of you as he moves through you what a dick so just three yep and then he's gonna turn around and ready another action i wonder what he's gonna do what a dick how many times can they do that uh it is a multi-attack option of his what a dick what a dick um so the hulk is up next and uh he's gonna hold his ground against this little uh this little dude uh or this big dude i should say this big old giant ape ape. yeah Yeah. (laughs) so uh two slam attacks coming at you for 21 and 24 yeah, both hit. 
Okay, and then uh, I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw while I roll all this damage. What's up? That's a six. That does not save. You are stunned. Unless oh, what? The great ape, unless the great ape has an immunity to stunning. It does not. Yeah. So you are considered stunned until your next turn. Um, and then you take uh, seven psychic damage and eight uh, bludgeoning damage. And the Hulk's attack triggers the readied action by the seer. And he shoots two psychic orbs at the Hulk for 46 psychic damage on you, uh, Vora. That just reflects right off of this Hulk, and the Hulk just starts laughing. Uh, and then he's gonna Ouch, geez. take a good couple steps away from you to kind of clear the distance. Uh, he, he moves about 10 feet from you. Oh, if I wasn't stunned, I would uh, totally attack at opportunity, that guy. Yeah. It happens. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> and, um, yeah, that's the end of his turn. Dang. This ape ain't looking too good. I mean, to be fair, it was a brilliant move, but, you know, even apes can get stunned. Um, Artie, you are up next. Yeah. Um, where is that mage, and is anyone around him? Uh, so the mage is basically, um, so he walked towards the ape and then phased through him. So he's about 20 feet, uh, 20 feet from the center of the room, kind of near the second and third, uh, benches, uh, against the, the wall that's opposite you. Sure. And was anyone around him? Uh, no. Why are you giving me grief? Or actually, uh, your your ally uh, uh, Bones and Silrus are actually close near him. Uh, oh, Silrus is closer. All right. Um, I guess I will run up on him. And are either of them within melee range of him? No. Damn. All right. I don't need it anyway. How's a twenty-four to hit? Yeah, that hits. Cool. So I'm gonna hit him with shocking grasp. Okie dokie. And where's my second D8? 6, 7, 13 uh, mm-hmm. lightning damage. Oh, he's holding on. And then I get to use a bonus action to make a weapon attack against him. Okay. <clears throat> 15 What kind plus, of weapon do you use? Uh, Warhammer. Okay, cool. Uh, 22 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Perfect. Uh, describe that death blow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so for shocking grasp, what he actually does is he channels it through the hammer. So he literally just runs up on him, jabs it straight into his gut, and then as he releases, he does a kind of Thor where he grabs the end of it, whips it around, and then uppercuts him. Uh, yeah, uh, you, yeah, that uppercut just shatters this, uh, seer's jaw. Um, and kind of caves in his his face uh, into his skull. Um, he doesn't get any fancy last words because of that uh, or nothing. Uh, you just see him start to turn to ash in front of you. Who's laughing now, bitch? Abris <laughs> yeah, is going to look on appreciatively of Artie's uh, style. Always got to have style. Um, that is my turn. Uh, okay. Um, the Hulk doesn't look super confident right now. Uh, he's not, he's not looking as cocky as he was. Um, and I think next in the order is going to be, uh, yep. Silrus and Vigo. Uh, they're going to take turns casting some shit at him. Yeah. Silrus is going to use, uh, is going to cast Shatter. And he fails, so 3d8, 14. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, that takes the Hulk down pretty good. And then, Hey, watch me play D&D by myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vigo actually crit failed his uh, Eldritch Blast. 
attack. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Rolled 84%. Um, oh. I'm going to I'm going to say the uh, the magical uh, or the 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 magic focus that he was using to channel this spell just explodes in his hand. And he's going to just take a shit ton of damage. At least he didn't get his hand chopped off or pulled it off. Probably did. <laughs> uh, yeah, he takes quite a bit of damage. Um, not dead, but but you see him. You see this uh, magical, this arcane uh, focus that he's channeling through explode like right in front of his face, and he is just on the ground, uh, incapacitated. <clears throat> Um, to the top, Vora, you've got the you've got the Hulk in your sights. Uh, how do I get unstunned? Oh, good question. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I think make another con save. Yeah, let me here, I'll double check that. Sorry, I I'm using this digital uh, DM screen. Mm-hmm. And there's only so many spaces you can have filled on it, so. <laughs> Can't take actions or reactions and can only speak falteringly. Fails strength saving throws. Uh, you're just stunned until your next, the end of your next turn. So, yeah. Because that's, that's, the, that's the effect of the uh, slam attack that he does. So... You're just you're just stunned until the, your next turn, till the end of your next turn, which is this well, one. Well, well, fuck. Yeah, this was the same problem you ran into in uh, in the tunnel. I mean, maybe if oh, you yeah, were better right. at not getting stunned, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Okay, so I guess I don't do anything this turn. Okay. Um, it, you are up. Let's do this. So I'll move my hunter's mark to the Hulk. Hulk thingy. Hulk smash. Sure, go for it. The Hulk bitch. One Hulky boy. Uh, does 18 hit? Describe that killing death blow. God, I didn't get to hit anybody. (laughs) I gotta kill something. If I, if I wasn't stunned, I would have finished him off. God, I landed me. one successful attack that <laughs> entire battle. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Um, all right, so I'm really bad at describing it. So you can, but I'm gonna shoot him through the eyeball. That's a very good choice. Yeah, totally. Thanks. You can describe the killing blow if you want to. I don't like I mean, doing it because there's I'm literally bad. no good amount. To me. There's literally no amount of damage that you can roll that won't kill him. So, Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you uh, you um, see the fear in this Hulk's eyes as he realized that his strength, his raw power has failed him. Um, and he, he looks like he's about to turn and just try and break through the wall and run away uh, when you just smartly just snipe him with your uh, arrow as you pierce his eye and put him out of his misery. And he turns to dust on the floor. Yay! Thank you for listening to our show. For more content, including world maps, cast info, or additional podcasts, check out our website, oneuppodcasts.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at AreWeDeadYetPod and on Facebook at facebook.com slash Podcast. Intro and outro music composed by Salty Dog Company. Find them on SoundCloud by searching for Salty Dog Co. Spell dog, D-A-W-G. Background music and ambience provided by tabletopaudio.com under an attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license from Creative Commons. TabletopAudio.com really brings your games to life and is perfect for both adding in that background music to a podcast or for live sounds during gameplay to increase immersion. 
Check them out at tabletopaudio.com. Cover art by Ashley Steinke. We'll be back in two weeks with another episode of the show. Bye.